If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. Now Rodgers has always had the skill set. We all know this, but Tom Brady's got all those rings. Marcus, I will start with you. For the rest of the playoffs this season, who would you rather have, Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers? Seriously? Seriously. Tom Brady. Like, what, what evidence do we have that tells us Tom Brady is not more equipped for this moment than any other quarterback in the NFL? None. We have no evidence of that. And then you look at the season that he's put together. I believe Aaron Rodgers is the MVP, just like he was last year when they lost to Tampa Bay. And it was a three-interception performance by Tom Brady. But this is what happened in the Green Bay game. I want to remind everybody, when the game needed to be milked and the game needed to be sealed – Tom Brady had the ball in his hands, and every household in America knew the game was over. Did we not? Tom Brady is generational. He's historically, he's transcendently great. Uh, whatever term you want to use greatness, and however you want to define it, Tom Brady has a picture in the dictionary next to greatness. That's what he's, he's been great. He's been clutch. He's been everything that you think a top-notch quarterback should be. He's been that, and if you magnify it times 100, he's been that. Let's take a look at the divisional round, guys. The NFC West is home to two big underdogs as the 49ers and Rams go on the road for the divisional round this weekend. Both ESPN's FBI and Vegas odds clearly favor the home team in each matchup, uh, that being the Packers and Tom Brady and the Bucks. And then we, we look at this season. The Green Bay Packers, I feel like, are a better team than the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I feel like that. The only reason I don't know that for sure is because Tom Brady is the quarterback. They've lost Chris Godwin. A AB is out. They're just getting Leonard Fournette back. And we saw this team last week do a phenomenal job offensively against the Philadelphia Eagles in the playoffs. Right. When, when everybody else is puckering, Brady is thriving. That's why I, I still would not regret my choice of Brady. I, I get it. I get it. We know we can bet our safe money is on Tom Brady being ready for the moment putting his team in a position to win and having more success than all quarterbacks that's in these playoffs. Now, if y'all got some evidence to prove different, mm -hmm. show it to me. But based on right now and the way he's playing and the way he stayed at this elite level, there's a reason why Tom Brady is considered what he's considered. So Chris Godwin's out. AB's gone. Tristan Wirfs banged up. Ryan Jensen banged up. So to that, you're right. But I will say they took a 31 nothing lead without Fournette and Ronald Jones. And I, I really think the key to this football team beyond Brady is Leonard Fournette, which is weird because when he came here, he was an afterthought. But when he's running, yep. and I mean, Leonard Fournette is like a different player in big games. And when he's running and Brady can yep. throw not only out of the gun, but on play action, it's a handful. Even though Tom Brady looks nothing like Michael Jordan ever looked, it's it's a it's a whole different package that he is projecting. He is definitely Brady. I'm sorry. Brady is definitely Jordan-esque. What was Jordan's MO? He was constantly looking for, if not fabricating, reasons to beef with somebody on the other team. I don't like this. Mm -hmm. I don't like the way he looks. I don't like the way he talks. I can't believe he said that about me or that about us. And he would take it to heart in the weirdest, craziest, greatest ways and use it to fuel his competitive rage. I, I think mm -hmm. Brady is built just like Jordan. He's got competitive rage inside him that manifests itself in games like that. This is what I call Psycho Tom. I think we're about to mm -hmm. see the first appearance maybe this whole year of Psycho Tom. And it's quotes just like this from Aaron Donald that will set off Brady because there's nothing wrong in and of itself with what Aaron said as far as how it would benefit his team, like respect what he did, what he did past tense, but this is a whole new year. Well, trust me on this. Brady will take that as a challenge, if not a taunt. He will somehow twist it in his head like he's taunting me. He's saying I'm a has-been, I'm a once-was, and that now the Rams have arrived. Now it's their time. My time is past time. That's how he will interpret this, <laughs> I believe. The problem Aaron has is, which is why I would caution him to be careful, be very, very careful 
about what you say about GOAT is riding shotgun going to Tampa for Aaron Donald is a quarterback named Matthew Stafford who is nowhere near Tom Brady. Marcus, <laughs> I just have one question. You started all of that by saying Aaron Rodgers is the MVP. He was right? last year and he right. lost. Okay. okay. I am picking the GOAT to beat the Rams at GOAT. So I also okay. give it a 10 for the very opposite reason than you did, because I love that he said it for Brady's sake. What do I always say about Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr.? What is my mantra on this show? There is one man in sports I do not bet against when you push all the chips to the middle of the table and they are about to get pushed on Sunday at Tampa. So quarterback confidence draft for today, and this is specifically focused on behind in the fourth quarter. Which guys do you have the most confidence in or the least? We're going to do all eight of the remaining starting quarterbacks. Behind in the fourth quarter, which guy are you most trusting? The concern I have for not only Aaron, but you, Shannon Sharp, is are you sure that Matthew Stafford can back this up, that it's a whole new day for the Rams? Because I don't see it. I don't trust it. I don't believe it. You got the first pick. Take Brady. All I know right. you're going to take uh, him. Tommy, well, why, why wouldn't I? He's been there. He's done that. He's won like two full regular seasons plus of postseason games, and he's done plenty of those with a late drive. Give me Tommy without yeah. question. With Matthew Stafford replacing Jared Goff, the Rams just flew out of the gate and went 7-1 and one in their first eight games. They closed mm -hmm. five and four. The one game they won where everybody says, ah, look, they took off was the Arizona game. So they finished five and four in the regular mm -hmm. season. And then everybody said, look, they just wiped the slate clean against Arizona. Well, right. guess what Arizona did? It lost four of its last five games. And the only game it won was against my sorry Dallas Cowboys. But guess what Matt Stafford did in that game? He threw only 17 passes on Monday night against the Arizona Cardinals. 17 passes? Mm -hmm. That was the second lowest of his career and by far the lowest of this season. Well, guess what had happened? Coach McVay said, I'm taking the game out of the quarterback's hands. Uh, he's only going to throw it 17 times. He threw for 202, which is great. Two touchdowns, no picks. Great. Got it. But they ran for 140 yards. And if you look right. down the stretch at, at the last – three regular season games, Matt Stafford threw three picks at Minnesota. He threw two at Baltimore, including his fourth pick six of the year. And then he threw two mm -hmm. more against San Francisco as they blew a 17 to nothing lead and lost to the 49ers 27-24 in overtime. My point is the right. quarterback was just unraveling down the stretch. Are you sure you trust Matt Stafford? Can, can he go to Tampa and throw only 17 passes and beat Tom Brady? No, no, I don't no, think no, 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 because I don't, no, okay. I don't think you can either, Skip, because I don't, think, I don't think Tampa will allow you to run the ball for 140 plus yards. That's it for this video. I post a new Tom Brady video every day, so please like and subscribe. That way you'll always have a new Tom Brady video to watch every single day.